what's up? It's Darian. I'm back with Darian the Dev. And today I want to talk to you guys about my first month at my new software development job. So yeah, guys, just that quick. I know it, it seems like it was just the other week that I was announcing that I had gotten my first software development job, but it's actually been over a month now. So I've been gone a little bit and that's because I've been trying to soak up as much experience as possible. Experience that I can kind of relate back to you guys in my own terms and keep the content like really meaningful, really unique, and hopefully helpful for you guys who are either just beginning your careers in software development or who might be considering getting into software development. Um, with that being said, I just wanna reflect a little bit on this video. It's not gonna be like super structured. It's kind of just be more like a, like a talking, I guess, chatting video um, about just some of the things that I have come across or that I've learned in this first month uh, at my job. The, the culture is awesome. Even though we have desks, we have an open communication, open working environment. And also, I don't feel ever like I'm being micromanaged or like I'm being forced to do anything or like there's somebody over my shoulder all the time. Uh, as far as how you go about accomplishing your, your tasks for that day or your responsibilities for that day, I, most people don't care how you go about doing it so long as it gets done. And I feel like the culture of accountability both for an individual and for groups is so good that you typically, you know, are, you kind of are given free range to kind of work how you want to work. So if you want to go and my job has a basketball court. So if you want to go and take your laptop and go work over by the basketball court and just watch some games while you write your code, or if you want to go down to the cafeteria and work there, or if you want to take a break and go play some ping pong or go to the arcade, like these are all things that are possible because everyone knows where everyone is in the, development process and there's like i said open lines of communication and there's a lot of personal and group accountability so no one is too much concerned that someone's not going to do their part and that you know you have to babysit somebody is usually not the case so i think that's great because it's awesome being able to get up from your desk if you've been sitting down for too long or if you've been working on a certain problem for too long and you're getting frustrated it's great to be able to get up and go play basketball for a little while or go take a walk or whatever you might need to do uh, to keep your head fresh, keep your mind right, and to help you stay thinking creatively and not hitting like a wall in some cases. So I think that's great. Um, the freedom that we have and the appreciation I feel as an employee is a lot higher than jobs I've had in the past. So I just feel like the the freedom and things like that kind of come from that greater appreciation for developers or people who have technical skills. Um, it's something I've noticed extremely. Uh, the pay is obviously really great. Um, so I'm not gonna touch on that one too much, but it is nice when I don't have to worry about, you know, certain things in my personal life because I know I'm getting paid well enough to do my job. So. That is obviously a, a huge plus. Another thing that I would say I've noticed is that the realm of program architecture is insane and learning how a corporate development environment works is extremely interesting because there's so many moving pieces and departments of people who come together to make this one amazing, functional, fast, efficient, but also safe and protected program for people to use is it's an amazing process to watch um so i've learned a ton about architecture and how much planning goes into each particular project so there's no more just sitting down and coding and just not having a clear path or direction when you're writing code so um that has that's been long out the window um so now everything is very heavily design oriented so for every task that i receive or my team members receive or any anybody basically who gets a, a task within a sprint to work on um you are going to be expected to basically do like solution design long before you ever write any code and what solution design is basically is just uh 
using UML or the unified markup language to create documentation actually showing, hey, this is the user case or the user story I've been given. And here's the things that I know needs to happen or here's the things that I know I need to create in order for this to happen. And so here's how I plan to do that. And here's the tables and databases that I'm going to use in order to do that. Here's what I'm concerned about. Here's what I think is going to be a big risk. Here's what I think is going to be an obstacle, like all of these different moving pieces. And you write all these things out into documents that are actual physical documents, whether you do them on uh, the computer, they're like digital documents, or you're actually drawing this stuff out on paper. But there's always, 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 always going to be a discussion before you ever write any code for any user story. There's always going to be a solution design phase where you are actually thinking out loud or on paper or both about how you're going to actually build the solution to the problem and then you're going to need to get that solution design document actually approved by someone within your team or higher up than you and before they're able to clear you to go begin writing code. So in a nutshell, it's it's learning how to take your knowledge of code and articulate you know, your solutions and your thought processes on paper to the rest of your team so that if anybody else needs to interact with the same databases or tables as you, um, they know what you're going to be using and interacting with, what you're going to be changing so that it doesn't affect any potential changes that they might have to make. And just, it just, it just, that transparency and that accountability I was talking about, this solution design document and the whole emphasis on architecture is a way of making sure that you know, everyone is protecting themselves and each other from potentially breaking things that they're not working on or messing up something that somebody else is working very hard on. So um, again, I think communication is super important in learning how to convey your ideas to a team and also from an architecture point of view, how you can explain why your code is written a certain way or why you're going to take a certain approach. Um, I think those are all really great things that it would not hurt anyone to learn about. You might want to take a certain design approach over another design approach because this way is safer when you have hundreds of thousands of users versus something you might do if you only are gonna have 100 users or 1,000 users. You're gonna take a much different design approach for that 100 user application than you are for that 100,000 user application, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that that is my, like, quick observational rundown of my first month as a software developer. I'm sorry if that's not super detailed or specific for you guys, but again, um, I'm still going through a training of sorts. And so as I get further into my user stories and working with my team and getting integrated, I'm more than happy and glad. And I will be making tons of videos about this stuff as the journey continues to go along. But right now, I just want to tell you guys as much as I can from an insider's perspective of the things I have seen, the things I have worked on, the things I have learned, and I will continue to do that for you guys as we go along. So if you have any feedback for me, guys, or if you have anything you want to chat about or anything that could be helpful to me, you can put something on my radar, whatever, you want to see a video about something, leave me some comments down in the comment section below, guys. It'd be super helpful. I love interacting and chatting with you guys. And if this video helped you at all, if you could leave me a like, share, subscribe, that would be extremely great. It helps me with motivation to keep making these videos for you guys and keep pumping them out. But until the next video, I'm Darian. This is Darian the Dev, and I'll see you guys next